Morning everyone, Michael from Classic Japanese Parts Recyclers again. It's got another Corona. Um, this one was local. It was reasonably cheap. Well, for what it is, it was very cheap. Um, it's yeah, it's very dirty. It's been a country car. It's um, I think the first owner had it had it for a while and um, yeah looked after it. It came from out Wagga in New South Wales but yeah it's um, only got 120 something thousand kilometres on the clock um, the paint's really oxidised it's very dirty and it's just got some minor surface rust here and on the guard here but you can see the filthy interior but you know it's going to clean up really well it's going to clean up even a lot better than the last one I've already got a new dash for it this has got a tiny little crack in it you can hardly see I'm going to be doing some things to the interior here just minor clean ups and um, changes but um, nothing major we'll go through all that step by step on keeping this as original as possible as you might have noticed it's an automatic um, yeah nice and straight except for a scrape in the passenger's rear door this is a different trim level to the last one. Um, it hasn't got the chrome on top of the bumpers or the wraparound bumpers. Um, it's more basic um, door trims. It hasn't got the carpet down the bottom. But that's what we've got. You can see like um, some of the wheels are a bit messy. One of them's got an old um, like truck tire on that was used on a trailer I think and there's um, yeah on its last legs but we're going to do something with that i've got the hubcaps off the other car unfortunately i've sold a lot of parts off that other one that i could have used here so luckily i found one at the wreckers and um got a few bits and pieces off it yesterday so yeah doing okay unfortunately i had to pay more for some of the stuff than i um made off it when i sold it but anyway it's all good um yeah, that's going to give it a tidy up. Or at least the windscreen's not broken, but I'm thinking I'm going to get the spare one from the wreckers if it's cheap enough. This, I'm just going to do cosmetic stuff like repaint this. It's got a bit of surface rust here. Um, paint these. Or get the ones off the other car and paint them. I think they're a bit better. Um, try and fix up the bumper and... Unfortunately, I sold a perfect stone tray off the other car um, very cheaply too. Uh, you see the broken headlight, I've already got the replacement for that. Yeah, so we're all good to go. It's got a leaky exhaust. It's also got a leaking fuel pump, which is something I spotted. Really, there was something wrong, just a discoloration on this... Um, manifold here but yeah we've got a leaky fuel pump we've already got the other one out of the car ready to go in I'll be doing that shortly I really like to give the engine a bit of degrees but we'll see how we go I might just wash it with um car wash at the moment um to, uh, under the bonnet's very clean I don't think anything's ever been apart you see it's all got the factory clamps and covers on all the hoses all the hoses are original as far as I can tell no it looks like a different they put a new hose clamp here so they've obviously done something to the radiator or the um release the radiator hose at some time see what's on the other end of that one yeah it's factory or factory down the bottom i'm guessing this is a factory radiator hose too top i'm not getting any of that crunchiness that you get from um older vehicles in the hoses um, you know that all that scale and rust so I look, when um, I picked the car up the guy said he'd replace the timing chain and uh, the, because he had to do the water pump which is run by the not timing chain timing belt here yeah, it's a bit of a mission to do so that's what we've got there that's all new um, 
tanks, just wondering that something has happened there. So there was no water visible on the radiator when we got there and we put some water in. I've run this a bit so I'm going to see, make sure it's holding its water level. It's only got water and no coolant. Ah, yes, nice. Still good. I have to say no, nothing sus going on there. Um, we'll be checking it all over. Yeah, it's still got this, it's not intact, but you know, gives you an um, indication of how little this has been messed with. Um, yeah, it's going to clean up good. I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to doing this. Um, get it done as quickly as possible. I bought a, um, what was it? Hyundai Sonata from Mum. Um, but um, yeah, we, we're very short on cash at the moment and we can't mum some Kia um, has basically, you know, I don't think it's ever going to go on the road again. It's just got some transmission troubles at the moment. So this came up and I thought, yeah, quickly get it on the road and mum can drop it around while she's got the, while we're doing the Sonata. Okay, there's no carpet in the boot. I've got good carpet out of the other car, which is a bonus. Um, you can see at the, the spare wheel wells full of hay. This is how this car's been treated in the later part of its life. There has been some rust here. It's been patched up like I think with fiberglass or something. It's very hard and everything feels pretty good underneath the windscreen there. So that'll just stay like that, I think. You can see all the rubbers are all nice and good. Yeah, pretty good vehicle. So leave things like this on the car, that's a nice touch. Um, Trana S. Trana S. Corona S. I will put this down here. I'm going to um, get in, I'm going to pull the door trim off and see. I'll massage this part out here and I'll give this a little bit of a push there and uh, just push that crease out a bit and I don't know if I can um, somehow push along that seam and maybe sorry video camera straight maybe just push that back in a bit as after this pops out I'll um, see what I can do without removing the paint and see how that looks before I go any further we we'll just noticed a little tiny bit of the surface rust here. I'll get onto that. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to end up respraying the bonnet and the boot, but um, on the top of that guard there. But first things first, let's get this thing on the road and going. Runs fine, you know. What? And again, everything is absolutely filthy in here. So I'm just giving it a kick in the guts. Give it a couple of pumps of the accelerator first. And it's a cold morning too. I need that exhaust. Hey, I'm just about to get up on the ramps and um, give it a go. Anyway, I'll turn that engine off because I'm about to work on it. There you go, it runs. And it goes quite well, actually. Even as an auto, it goes better than the other one I I got a few weeks ago that you remember. I just had a, a bit of a drive around the front yard yesterday and I was doing lock-to-lock -lock drifts in the front yard in first gear and very controlled and easy. That's the thing, original shock absorbers and everything in this and it feels and rides like, you know, you could imagine it was when it was new, it's good. Luckily, I was able to source a couple of end caps for there, which will really finish that off nicely. Everything's reasonably good, you know. It's going to be, it's going to be nice to get this going. I'm going to see a couple of um, tears in the back seats. So I'll, I'll just um, glue them together because obviously they've had something sharp in the back here. It's been used for transporting a lot of country-type farm equipment. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see how we go with this. 
and um, we'll keep you updated. So there you go, there's a ST141 Corona, automatic, 2 litre and all good. See ya.